obviously you have seen this robe in either the previous video or the next one i'm not sure in this video obviously by the title is about frontier airlines so i took frontier i was kind of nervous about it i really was because people are kind of like oh frontier is trash and oh spirit airlines is trash and they list all these reasons why i was looking on google and i saw all these flights and i saw frontier and every time i see frontier i kind of like scroll past it because i'm like i don't even want to deal with it so i was looking at flights and then i saw that the flights were crazy like expensive any other airline aside frontier it was going to easily cost me about $400 to get us both back home. The thing about Frontier is they do have like deals and I'm not sure if they have deals on like a regular basis but at least when I went on they had like they had a deal to save some money um, if you're riding on the flight. You can become like a frequent flyer type of member and then you automatically save money that way like on kids tickets and like your tickets etc but I think that's with every airline so I didn't want to do that because I'm like if I don't like the airline then I'm not gonna why would I sign up to be a frequent I don't like you so I'm not gonna be frequent so yes I went on there I applied the discount code and I noticed that all of the bags except for the personal one, carry-on or check bags, they cost money. So what I did was I bought one checked bag and two carry-ons and that covered everything that I had to bring. So mind you, I had a month worth of stuff, plus I had the car seat. Car seats and strollers and such are free. I'm going to, if I have it. I'm not sure if I have it, but I will screenshot and place the final price. They did have a deal, which I took was if you like bundle, um, you're like carry on and check bags, etc., type of thing, then you save, you were to save money because I believe it costs like $40 to have a carry on per forty dollars per carry on and then $45 per check bag. This was one of Elijah's backpacks. I just it was like his personal item. It's also like a leash. Um, I see nothing wrong with having a leash on your child, whether they, <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's an airport, it's huge. The customer service at the front desk is really nice. Um, with Frontier, uh, I had to get on a train. Please stand clear. Please hold on. super long line to getting on to Frontier but it moved fairly quickly so that wasn't like a big issue um, I kind of liked that it was a line though because with other airlines we all kind of just like huddle until like our group is called but it was just a line and they also were doing temperature checks for me when I was booking my ticket I was able to get a seat for both planes, I got on two planes for both planes in the fourth row, 4E and 4F, and the next plane, 4E and 4F. So I was really happy. I was like, oh, I'm gonna be able to get a plane, blah, blah, blah. And I'm gonna get to that. Why that happiness kind of went out the way. I'm 5'4", um, so the spacing, at least compared to other planes, was kind of on the smaller side but it wasn't to the point where I was uncomfortable. The windows were also smaller, which made it kind of difficult to take pictures. So if you're into that, if you're into like taking pictures or looking out the window, um, the windows are kind of on the smaller side. Flights again were not that long. One flight 
My first flight was about two hours to get to Denver, I believe, and then the next flight was maybe another two hours or two and a half, and then I had, in between, I had like a two hour layover. So they didn't provide any food or drinks or anything. It was not an option, I believe. I don't believe the food was an option, but I believe the drinks were an option, of course. But everything food and drink wise, pandemic or not, you had to pay for. With me, I always bring my own snacks. So being fed is not like a, it's not a necessity. They also did not offer any Wi-Fi. Um, the flight attendants were really nice. Um, they, I don't know, they just did their thing. Um, as all flight attendants do, I think they were probably the nicest crew that I've encountered. Like they were really nice to Elijah. They were, they thought he was the cutest thing. So that's really, that was really good. Now I will definitely say that this next point is a con. Um, with other airlines, in pandemic, they do it a little differently, but essentially with other airlines they um, that I've been on, they want you to get off like, okay, this row goes, and this row goes, and this row goes. And I'm not sure if it's due to like the flight attendants letting them know that, hey, we want you to get off one by one, or just common courtesy of like the people who are on the airlines itself. But with Frontier, I don't know if everybody was in a rush or what the case was, but when we landed, mind you, let me circle back. I was in the fourth row. There were people coming from the very back, like bum rushing their way to the front. And I'm literally here with like a toddler and like my backpack and like, I'm not like red, like getting rushing to like, I'm not going slow is what I'm trying to say. I'm not going slow. Wasn't that serious it was just annoying so i'm not going slowly my things are ready my backpack is on his backpack is on i have my bag in my hand like my computer bag and like we're ready to get off and people are coming from the back like rushing their way to the front like as you're like trying to for example i'm trying to like step out of the aisle and then someone's like coming in and i'm like okay let me step back because obviously you're rude you were, you are rude. Like, dude, Lane, again, I don't know if like, they were like in a rush to get somewhere, but, or like a rush to connect to the next flight, but it was rude and it was like really hectic. It was like, hey, we landed, so move, bitch. Like, okay, okay. Well, other than that being frustrating, it was also quite frustrating when there were just people who were sitting there in the aisle chatting it up. What, what do we what do we need to converse about? What do we need to converse about? Like get off, move out of the way, like You see, you know people are standing here. Like, this is a huge plane. Like, it's extremely full. There are people behind you. Why are you in the aisle? Like, <laughs> like why? Why? And that was on both flights. But other than that, I want to say that the flight overall was super smooth. The seats also didn't recline, but I've never, I've never reclined a seat on an airplane before because I'm always concerned about the person behind me. I don't want to be in their space. The landing was one of the smoothest landings that I've had on any airline. As you're checking that seatback pocket for any of your personal items, if you could do us a favor and place any trash you find on your seat. Overall, that was my experience on Frontier. It was not that bad. I can definitely see myself using it again. And I feel like it's great for you if you're in a financial pinch. That's all I have to say. And... <sighs> yeah, anyway, 